you've got the Marvels opening up. What is that? Early November. Um, the Marvels opens up on November 10th. And in a normal, you know, a couple of years ago, you said, of course, that's the biggest movie of the season. Last year, Black Panther 2 was the biggest movie of the fall season. It's a Marvel movie. The first one made a billion. Is this going to be the biggest movie of those three months? Is this, is this, is there any chance that somehow this movie isn't as big as Killers of Flower Moon, isn't as big as uh, Exorcist Believer. Like, where are we at on this? Because, again, you would think Marvel's, which is Captain Marvel 2, is going to be gigantic. But I don't know if any of us could say that right now. It's a tough call. Marvel's is still sitting there on November 10th. Um, obviously, Dune 2 jumped out of that November 3rd slot. And it's yeah. gone to next spring. So there's nothing opening on November 3rd right now, which is technically the start of the holiday movie season. To not have a film there is embarrassing for Hollywood. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Disney, I don't know what they're doing or why they're not doing it. Do they think that they need um, the stars of the Marvels to advertise their film? Is that what they're waiting for to say, hey, we might just move this thing? I, I can't imagine that they will. Because I don't the think Marvels they will. Is- is going to do marvel's business whatever that is and you're right pat i think it is a lot it's it's not doing the billion that the original captain marvel did um this feels a lot more like low lower end tier low tier marvel uh you know six maybe 60 70 million dollar opening somewhere in there that we're used to which which is low but again disney has to move that up to the november 3rd slot just Mm -hmm. to give them some separation from Hunger Games, Trolls Band Together, <laughs> Next Goal Wins, which I think is going to actually surprise some people. Um, those are opening November 17th. So Marvel's needs to jump up to that November 3rd spot. Again, it's not going to help it that much, but maybe this thing does $175 million domestic, I think, on a good day if it gets the right reviews. I know for Marvel, that isn't great, right? I mean, hell, Trolls Band Together could end up grossing more than the Marvels wow. uh, because of how light the holiday season is. Once we get in December, there's just not a lot of stuff like where you, there's no Avatar 2 out there. All we got is Aquaman and uh, Wonka. And 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 honestly, uh, there's Migration. There's another animated film from Universal. So Trolls Band Together is going to have a long run in theaters, unlike uh, Trolls 2, which was cut short by the pandemic. I think it made less than a million dollars domestically. Um, so people are Jones and they can't wait for this Trolls 3 because they they really felt like they got the short end of the stick with Trolls 2, right? And we all right. do, right? We wanted to right. see Timberlake on the big screen doing his thing, shaking his booty. Um, and, and we're going to see that with part three. <laughs> Again, should, is guys. there a missed opportunity? Should there be a Trolls 2 re release? Oh, leading on, into Trolls 3. On November 3rd, absolutely, there should yeah. be. Yep. Well, I look at this Dune 2 move as so lucky for Marvels. Yeah. Because if that movie comes out when it's supposed to come out, I feel like it totally eclipses Marvels in every single way. Mm-hmm. Because I really, you know, I was... I always sort of dislike the Marvel movies. I, I, I will say that. So maybe I'm not the best person to say this, but right now, superhero stuff, especially Marvel, seems like the corniest BS to a lot of people. Secret Invasion was not watched. People despise it. And the star of this film, one of the stars of this film, was in the lowest rated marvel tv show miss marvel it's done by a director that seems i mean i've heard interviews i mean she doesn't seem like she had a very good time working for marvel the star of this film brie larson has completely just become a youtube influencer not a movie star anymore she was barely a blip in fast x any charisma she once had seems to have completely drained out of her and so we're left with a movie that's being described as wacky which is never good 
because Ant-Man Quantumania was wacky, and we know what happened with that film. I think this thing is a disaster waiting to happen. It's also super short, which you would think is a good thing because these movies are too long. But to me, I feel like they might have just butchered the hell out of this thing because it was so terrible. Yeah, it's well, it's interesting. You know, I get all that, Clayton, and I can't disagree. But Jeff, you're throwing out there this movie opens at 60. So right now we're ju- we're are we looking at Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, is in the Black Adam range? Because mm-hmm. if that's the case, then it really nothing. I, I would say nothing shows how far the superhero genre has fallen. If we are all basically agreeing that Marvel's 2 is opening in Black Adam territory. And that's sort of the long range forecast. Because to me, as as much as I agree on all those points about why the Marvels is in bad shape, I was looking at the over under as Quantumania and that movie opens at 100. So... Yeah. If if basically sixty seventy now is the long range thought for the opening, that's a terrible sign for the superhero genre. It's also danger for the box office in general because a year ago, even in a down fall period, Wakanda Forever opened at what a hundred and eighty million on November eleventh. So to go from a movie that opened at 180 million in the slot last year to a movie that we're thinking opens at 60 or 70, this I mean, is bad for theaters. Black Widow opened to 60 in 2020. You yeah, know, Black Widow I think opened to 90 that year. I'll double check, but I think Black Widow opened to like 90 plus another 30 million in PVOD at that time. I mean, um, I think I think Eternals is the compare here. A 71 million domestic opening, 164 Ooh. million domestic total, barely over 400 worldwide. Um, I think, honestly, that's that seems about right on target for Marvels, and that's not a great start. You're right, to the holiday season, and it probably won't get to 70, I don't think. I, it might push wow. there again because, only because... Warner Brothers did them a solid and moved Dune, like Clayton said. That was the best thing that could have ever happened to Disney, and I'm not sure why Warner Brothers honestly did it, because uh, Zendaya, uh, people aren't going to Dune Part 2, a hardcore sci-fi film, because she tweets a lot. You know, they, they are the, the same people that went to the first one, those are the people that are going to the second one. It's not going to just be, I know when it opened, but it was never going to be a seventy million dollar opener. It was going to be probably fifty million, which is about, mm-hmm. about ten million more than the original. So a little bump, but not much. It, it doesn't matter where you open that film. You don't need the actors to push this film. It's Dune for Christ's sakes. Everybody knows what it is already. It's the the action part of part one, and this is what the people want to see. Right. So it, that was just a boneheaded move by Warner Brothers. Uh, a, a number of boneheaded moves, except for making Barbie. Um, they 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 made a lot of them. Uh, they destroyed. They obliterated the DC Shield this summer with Flash and Blue Beetle. Uh, and who the hell knows what Aquaman two is going to do? I mean, I haven't the slightest. I will, you know, like you said, Pat. We'll get into talking about holiday movies later. But uh, Marvels is going to be a disappointment, no matter if it opens November third or November tenth. And get used to disappointment because then the Hunger Game opens November seventeenth. Oh, the ballad of songbirds and snakes. That's a bomb. Yeah. Um, well, Black Widow made eighty. You're right, Pat. Um, okay. Talking. I mean, Hunger Games. I mean, that looks like it was shot in a back lot. That looks like it was shot in like a burned down warehouse somewhere yeah. in Yugoslavia. <laughs> so that thing looks terrible. But uh, yeah, Marvel's the the my fear here is Marvel's opens under Black Adam. And we get another round of The Rock saying, why no Black Adam 2? Right. If my movie opened bigger than Marvel's, because he is going to be under the false assumption that another movie's failure makes your movie a success, which is not the case. But that that is what he's working under right now. Uh, So yeah, Marvel's in in deep deep trouble 